Welcome back to Prez Kai. I'm the Business Prez, and today we're looking at other daily trend. Now let's jump straight into it. Straight into the juicy goods. <clears throat> got Bitcoin to see what the whole market is doing. We've got Ethereum to see how the old coins are going to play out. We've got my baby XRP. A quick macro look at things and then the chart of the day. So guys, if you're interested, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, like, subscribe, bell button, all, like, subscribe, bell button, all. You know the song, you know how it goes, YouTube loves the algorithms. All right. So we've been watching this descending channel for the longest time. Okay, we seem to get weeks underneath it. And we're, it's pushing us to support. We're getting a bit of divergence, we're getting some flicks up, but nothing too drastic. So until this changes, the market doesn't change. Okay, if we break this level, could be bad. It would be bad. <laughs> Quick look at Ethereum. That was a previous top. And then we never quite made highs and just ran into this bottomless pit. It doesn't look the same. It doesn't look the same. So... What I'm waiting for is Ethereum to break out against this RSI downtrend and for the MACD to flick up. Okay, we could get that. Okay, Ethereum rejected this wedge that we were forming, we broke down, rejected it, so we're probably going to keep coming down. Probably going to keep coming down. Another 10% to the 618 in the previous bottom. However, we could also see a double bottom here on price because we're getting this kind of inverse head and shoulders in the oversold level. So if you haven't sold Ethereum yet, I'd probably just wait. Well, I sold a bit up here, I swapped some into Harmony and just put some a little bit on the sidelines just to buy it back cheaper because I don't think we're done. I don't think we're done. But we need to break out this trend line and the 50 on the RSI and that'll be fine. Um, XRP. Still waiting for this giant spike, and it's coming. If we get the settlement, it's coming. Until then, this has been the bear market. We'll broke out of that resistance, and then the SEC case. This is all blogged up in my website, link in the description below. But this is the XRP bull run. Black line is the macro trend. This green line is the previous low. This green box is a demand zone. This red resistance is a supply zone. So we're squeezing together in this pattern. And when we break out, it's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. Looks really bearish, but we've seen the quick spike before. We know where this thing is going. We're breaking out all time highs. Got some targets up here. And that's just for wave two. Once wave two pulls back, we'll be going on to wave three also. So. Yeah, we're not done for XRP, not done at all. In fact, we're just getting started. As per usual, XRP is the last to move, but it moves the highest and the fastest. Okay, similar things. We get a bit of a downtrend, we break out. A bit of a downtrend, we break out. But we break out into resistance, and now we're finding support. All right. The Bitcoin dominance is increasing. Why is this back on the hour? Okay, we're bouncing off this bottom, and whenever we seem to bounce off this bottom, altcoins bleed against Bitcoin, okay? It's the way I see it. If we're going to start a new uptrend, it's dangerous for altcoins. It's dangerous. But if this breaks down, oh my goodness, we're about to have altcoin season. So we've just got to let Bitcoin tell us where it wants to go. On the RSI, we seem to be making higher highs and higher lows out of support. So technically, Bitcoin should be gaining strength, but we just have to wait and see what happens, okay? Because even though Bitcoin looks like it's gaining strength, the old coins are at support, and look what happens when we're at support. This is our chart of the day, ADA. You see, we just kind of broke support. This is the tricky thing about stop losses, right? If you're buying in and you've got a stop loss, well, really, it's a buy zone. And then it just ripped up, ripped up massively. So if you had to go stop there, you missed the 30% swing. It's tricky. It's tricky. But 
we live, we learn. Okay, so this is the naked chart on the daily. Seen its first wave was huge. Okay, a bit of a blow off top there. We never really formed bearish trend. It's just consolidated onto support and then we broke up massively. So that's what I see here. Consolidation into support and we're breaking up. Now what's interesting here is <clears throat> we break this level. We had daily close above this level with no wick. No wick to the top. Okay, so we made a higher high against the downtrend. Okay, this is what's interesting. Okay, so we broke out here before, but see those wicks, and we're still kind of really high in terms of, you know, it's only 20% off the top, but from back here, you know, it's still more than 10x. So even though I was buying into these levels, I should have been a bit more cautious because it continued, and it continued all the way down there. Now, at this level, at this support zone, things get interesting because it's got no room to go down without the buyers wanting to step in. And we're technically in a bull market still, so the buyers have stepped in, <laughs> okay? Now, what we want to see is a higher low. If this level gets broken, oh, we're bad, we're bad, we're bad. But if price just wants to chill for a bit, that's awesome. I do not expect Cardano to keep running and just end up back at the top tomorrow. I don't expect that, okay? I'm gonna show you why in a minute. Okay, so that's the naked chart. We're looking pretty good. We broke out, we broke resistance. Cardano has broken resistance. We've gone from really bearish to at least sideways. And we're looking to start a new uptrend. Okay, this would be good, this would be good. So let's load the daily trend for ADA. And we can see that these moving averages that have been the resistance were broken out. We're broken out. So when resistance gets broken, it turns into support. So right here is where I'll be looking at ADA to hold. And if we keep it going left, we see that this level is very important. Very important. So it's no wonder we're getting a reaction here. All right. Let's change that up a bit. All right, so we flip this blue line, which is the 50 moving average. And this is very key because 50 moving average is our momentum indicator. All right, 50 on the moving average is very similar to 50 on the RSI, and we just broke that. So we're not in a bearish trend anymore. We're going sideways. Okay, we're just waiting for the MACD to confirm that. Stochastic says we're oversold, so we should be taking profits at these levels and looking for a pullback. If we get the pullback and everything holds, well then, we're sweet. Everything should be looking good. Pull out the FIB for a little retracement zone. And we can see that that lines up pretty well with our other support. So, we've still got resistance. Where the 200 moving your average is, it's very clear previous top. These wicks come down here when we broke it and retested. This is a key level. So if we push up much more, I'm expecting the bears to step in. If we pull back into our buy zone the way we want it, I'm expecting a nice swing trade to play out. That's 30%. That's great. That's great. So if you jump on buy a bit, put in a bit of a trade there, it'll be good. It'll be good. So this is the daily trend. 
And it looks like we found a bottom, we're turning things around. Momentum is turning positive. So if we get some sideways, that's awesome. If we get a pullback and a trend continuation, that's what I'm expecting, all right? So that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Now if we zoom out slightly, what can we see? Yeah, we can see the bottom's in, the bottom's in, okay? So now we can zoom in slightly to the four hour. And this is what I wanna show you guys. Yeah, oversold, we know that, let's get rid of that. Okay, when the MACD crosses down, We'll be looking to make some support or at least just bounce. The, the MACD is a trend indicator. So we could literally see back here, yeah, just the bounce, steady up. Until the double top and we come down, you know. So we just steady up trend and then we get a reversal, then we get a pull back. We could see that, we could see that. But look at this. This hit that 80 on the RSI, okay. This not long ago... The tagged 80 on the RSI back here. And then we never tagged, oh, we come very close, we come very close. Yeah, man. It's quite bullish. It's quite bullish. Okay. As we come down into the buy zone, even though it looks bearish, we're getting a bullish divergence here. And we break out above that 50. So yeah, we can see this 200 moving average on the four hour represents the 50 moving average on the daily. That's the key level that we're watching. We can see that we're above that right now. It's literally pushed us down, pushed us down, and then we broke it. So now we want to follow that line for support, okay? This previous top, we're getting resistance. We're more than likely going to have a pullback into this zone, okay? So that's what I see from ADA. And that's awesome. <laughs> About bloody time. Because I've been holding this thing for far too long. I should have really only be getting in. Look. If you're an accumulator, looking to huddle these things for a long time, like the daily trend helps you out to do, then we don't want to be holding bearish. We want to be buying bullish. Look at that divergence. That's huge. We want to be buying bullish divergence at support levels because we see the reaction that it can get. Now we're in position and we can uh, look to take profits up here. First profits here, second profits here, third profits here. Maybe even hold on for a breakout of all-time high. But nothing is guaranteed just yet. Like I said, there is a lot of resistance still here. But it looks like the bulls are stepping in. And if the bulls are stepping in, then this bearish trend could flip. One last look. Something very important. Cardano Bitcoin chart. Yeah. Okay, look at the RSI. Gets to the 50. It pulls back. It breaks out. We tag green on the daily. Guys, ADA compared to Bitcoin, just tag green on the daily. So if this pulls back to any kind of support, it is confirmation ADA. We are looking very bullish. Okay, ADA against the dollar looks very bullish. Break out against this trend line. It's very lax trend line. Yeah, we had a fake out there, got smashed. This could be a fake out. However, I doubt it because look at the RSI. We're not coming from bearish under the 50 the whole time. But one little breakout. No, 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 no. We're actually starting to swing and swing. And we made a higher high than back here and a higher low than back here. Okay, so we're pushing up, we're pushing up, we're pushing up. The lows are getting higher, the highs are getting higher. And it's looking the same on the price. And then when we compare that to the, uh, the market leader we get confirmation. So that's what we want to look for. Green tag, we've got bullish momentum, bit of a pullback. I'll be buying the dip. Absolutely. So guys, if you like what you're seeing today, make sure you smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Links to the website is in the description. I'm humming and hiring with it. Keep the website because it's costing me money and it's slowing me down. Whether if I run a Discord, I can post a lot more 
I can still have all the threads and everything. I can still guide you guys on how to do stuff, but it'd be a lot better, a lot cleaner, and a lot more. So if you like that, leave a comment. And guys, thanks for listening. I'm the Business Press. This has been The Daily Trend.